फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज अरविंद कुमार सो टुडे वी विल लर्न सीरियलाइजेशन एंड डीसीरियलाइजेशन यूजिंग न्यूटन सॉफ्ट शीशा सो दिस इज अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई हैव टोटल 16 इयर्स ऑफ आईटी एक्सपीरियंस मोस्टली आई वर्कड ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दीस आर द टेक्नोलॉजीज आई वर्कड ओके दिस इज इन माय ईमेल आईडी यू कैन कांटेक्ट मी ऑन माय ईमेल आईडी सो टुडेस एजेंडा इज हाउ टू सीरियलाइज एंड डीसीरियलाइज यूजिंग न्यूटन सॉफ्ट इन शीशा ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सीरियलाइजेशन एंड डीसीरियलाइजेशन सो व्हाट इज सीरियलाइजेशन सीरियलाइजेशन इज कन्वर्टिंग डॉट नेट डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट टू जेसन स्ट्रिंग एंड व्हाट इज डीसीरियलाइजेशन इज कन्वर्टिंग जेसन स्ट्रिंग टू डॉट नेट डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू सीरियलाइजेशन एंड डीसीरियलाइजेशन यूजिंग न्यूटन सॉफ्ट सो आई हैव ओपनड अ विजुअल स्टूडियो एडिटर सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट Now type console. Okay, so click on next. Just type serialize and deserialize demos. Okay, for uh, just for the project name. Okay, create. Click on create. So it it is creating the project with the name of this. Okay. So it has created one class program. Okay, one is the main class it has created. Okay, so if you go to the solution explorer, it will create all these files. Okay, so let's create an employee class in which we will create employee ID, employee name, employee address, and employee skills as properties. Okay, so we have created an employee class in which I have created uh, the property employee ID with in integer type, employee name as a string. address as string and employee skills as string type of array because employee an employee can have multiple skills so have we have created this as array okay so let's create the employee object okay so we have created an employee object so we have def defined this data property of this employee okay so these are the data properties okay for an example for this employee we have these these are the property it has so we have initialized this with the data okay so first is like employee id i have defined as 99 employee name is arvind kumar address i have written this and employee skills is in this this format we have defined three skills of this employee okay okay so we will serialize this employee object using newton soft okay so first you need to install newton soft from nuget package manager okay so just right click here and go to manage nuget package manager and go to browse and you will you need to install newton soft dot json just click here and there is a button called install just install it click okay so it will install the newton soft dot json okay so let's go to the program dot cs so we will serialize this object okay so what we need to do is we need to write some piece of code for that so just type string json string okay just type newton soft just type newton soft dot json dot json convert dot serialize okay so what you need to pass is you need to pass this object here so what this this line will do it will convert the object into a json string okay so let's deserialize this json string okay so what you need to write is just write employee object okay emp obj object okay and uh, what you need to write is newton newton dot json dot json convert convert dot deserialize object okay so you need to pass here is a employee object here and you need to pass this as json string here okay so what this line will do this line will deserialize this json in string into this employee object okay so let's test this in debug mode so i am putting the debugger in every line click on start button so debugger has come here so i am clicking on continue so you will see that in memory this employee object is created to check the serialize i am clicking on continue so you will see that this employee object got serialized into a json string you will see that this is a json string i am putting the mouse he over here so you will see that this json object got converted into json string okay so to to check this just i am clicking on continue you will see see that 
this json string got deserialized into a json object so in this way you have seen that how to serialize and deserialize using newton soft thank you very much so friends it's a request please support us please like our video and just subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates so let me show you how to search my channel in youtube okay so just go to youtube and in search bar just type j y e o n s jeons tech okay just click on search you will find this channel okay and this is my channel name jeons tech i request you to just click on subscribe and press the bell icon as well